Chrissy Chin here. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. I've got a great tutorial for you teaching you how to leverage Kajabi and Searchy and create this amazing magical button on your website that will allow people to search for specific key terms and topics within either audio files or video files so that they can jump right to that spot inside the recording and get the information that they need. So you're taking a look at my website right now and I am on the listen to the podcast page and you see right here I've got the ability for them to click this button click here to search for a specific topic and listen so this is super valuable in my podcasting page because people come to a podcast and they want to listen to specific episodes but they don't have time to look through an entire list of all your episodes to see if you have an episode that is right for them and maybe they don't even have time to listen to the entire episode. So providing this feature through leveraging Searchy and embedding it onto your Kajabi site will give them the ability to when they click on that, a little, they call it a widget, will pop out and they'll be able to put a topic. So if someone comes to my site and they're looking for information on pricing courses, they can type that in and hit enter and it's going to pull up any episodes where I use the words pricing and courses in those episodes. So it's searching the transcript that it creates and it's showing me where in that episode I talk about it. So right away, three things to consider when pricing your course pops up and it shows me different timestamps and the transcript of where I'm using those words. So I can very quickly as the user see, is this episode that I'm interested in? Right away the title tells me that yes, I'd be super interested in this episode. So I can actually click right to, okay, this spot at 9.56 looks like what she's talking about. I'm gonna hit play and then pause so you don't oh, hear whoa, my, don't. so you don't hear my voice. And then I've actually, um, included this cool feature where the link right here, if I click on it, it's going to take them directly to my show notes of that episode. So one little caveat to if you're, if they watch the video right here, instead of going to the episode and going to that minute marker, cause they probably won't take those extra steps. You won't be getting an extra download on your podcast, but the important part is that they're getting the information that they need right away. And that is the most important part. And Searchy does have analytics that allows you to see what videos are the most popular and so on and so forth. So it's not the end of the world. But just so you know, you can make that. We're not gonna go into it, but you can do that. So I'm actually just gonna be showing you how to create this button to make it searchable. So let's go into the back end of Searchy. If you don't already have a Searchy account, I have a referral link on my site under Tools of the Trade. You can grab that, much appreciated. And you can see right here, I recommend creating folders. So let's say you're doing this for your podcast or you could do this with your courses as well. So create a folder. I've created three folders for my podcast so that they can be separated into three different seasons, but you could do one if you wanted. Once you have the folder with all of the videos that you want them to be able to search through, and so you would just click into the folder and upload, add media, you would upload the video. So I had my virtual assistant do this for me. She's amazing. So you can have someone upload all of your podcast episodes if you want. Then we create a widget. So click on widget and you create a widget right here and you can do podcast test. I've done this a few times here. So whatever you type as the title, that's gonna be what shows up right here. So if you notice on my website, search for a topic and find relatable podcast episodes, you know, that's what the title is that I'm typing in here and you can edit and modify that there. You can go to appearance and add a logo. So your podcast logo, you can change the color to be your branding colors. Um, so that that's with the appearance a little bit um, on your site. So let's go back to the widgets. I'm gonna actually pull up my actual widget so that you can see it, what it looks like. So here's the logo and it's showing you what it will look like. And then I've added my folder. So you're gonna wanna make sure that you add a folder that you want to include with this widget. And I've added all three of my podcast folders because I want them to be able to search all three, all three seasons, okay? 
So once we have the widget title and how we want it, we've got the folder attached. We're going to click the embed button right here and then click pop out. Okay. And we're going to leverage this code right at the top here. It's titled head. And we're going to le leverage some of this code right here for the button, not all of it. And I'll show you what to use. So first go ahead and copy all of the head code and let's go over to Kajabi. Now, again, I said I was in the blog, so we're going to go to customize the blog. And then I'm in this section where we've added a text box. So I just clicked on here, text popped up. So I'm gonna click on text. Now I've already embedded this in, but I'm just gonna show you how to do it and then where it is. So we can see the listen to the podcast and then this little bit of copy right here, okay? And then this, this text has a call to action connected to it, okay? Which is the button here. So the first piece of code, I'm going to click on the source code in the text and this whole script and everything below. That's actually the code that I've taken from Searchy that I just copied and I embedded in here. So when you open this up, you wouldn't see that. Or maybe there's no text at all and you don't see anything and you paste that code right in here. Okay. So then hit OK. And you'll see a little bit of extra code, the CDATA. That's something that once you paste it in, that will automatically show up. Kajabi did that on their end uh, to make this easier for us, which is super cool. So that little bit you'll notice is not here. That is OK. OK, Kajabi will automatically do that. You don't have to do anything. So just hit OK and hit save. And then we're going to move on to the button. So you can either click the button or open up your call to action section. Then we're going to go back into Searchy and you're going to go down here to this code. And I want you to copy everything just in between the two quotation marks right here. So just this, do not include those quotations. So go ahead and get that copied. Come back over to Kajabi and, you know, title your button, whatever you want it to be titled. Make sure it's go to URL and then paste that code right here. Whoops, wrong code. I actually didn't copy it because I was not going to. There we go. Copy, paste it right here, and then we're going to hit save, and then you'll go ahead and hit preview. So it's going to reload the page here, and then click on the button, and it should work like a charm. So I hope that was helpful. If it was helpful, go ahead and leave me a comment below. If you have further questions, leave me a comment below. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Hit that bell so that you can be notified anytime one of these great new tutorials comes out or my podcast episodes every single Wednesday. All right, that's it. We'll see you in the next one.